chill that ran down my spine as I stepped into the deserted corridors of St. Augustine High School. The echoing silence seemed to whisper secrets of the past, secrets I was about to uncover. My name is Anna, and this is the story of the ghost that haunted those halls. I walked through the creaking gates of St. Augustine High, the rusty hinges groaning in protest. The school loomed ahead, its windows dark and foreboding. The air inside felt heavy, suffocating. Dust danced in the dim light filtering through cracked windows, casting eerie shadows on the walls. As I ventured deeper into the abandoned classrooms, I heard faint whispers echoing off the walls, chilling me to the bone. A cold gust of wind swept through the corridor, extinguishing the flickering lights overhead. I felt a presence lurking just beyond my line of sight. I stumbled upon an old yearbook, its pages yellowed with age. Among the faded faces, one stood out, a student named Emily who vanished mysteriously years ago. Strange noises echoed from the school's basement, drawing me closer despite my growing fear. The stairs descended into darkness, inviting me into the unknown. A sudden chill enveloped me as I reached the basement floor. The air was thick with the scent of decay, and I sensed I was not alone. I followed a trail of flickering lights deeper into the bowels of the basement, each step heavier than the last. My heart pounded in my chest as I approached a locked door covered in scratch marks. With trembling hands I turned the key in the lock, the metal grating against rusted tumblers. The door creaked open, revealing a room frozen in time. As I explored the room, I stumbled upon an old diary hidden beneath a pile of debris. The pages were filled with frantic scribbles, detailing Emily's descent into madness. A sudden gust of wind slammed the door shut behind me, plunging the room into darkness. Panic surged through me as I fumbled for an escape. A voice whispered in the darkness, chilling me to the core. It spoke of betrayal and anguish, its words echoing with the pain of a lost soul. With nowhere left to run, I faced the ghost of Emily, her eyes filled with a sorrow that pierced through me. She reached out, her spectral hand passing through mine. In that moment, I understood her pain, her longing for peace. With a final whispered apology, Emily's spirit dissipated into the ether, leaving behind only a lingering sense of sadness. As I emerged from the depths of the basement, I felt a weight lift from my shoulders. The once haunted halls of St. Augustine High School were silent once more, the ghost of Emily finally finding peace. <laughs>